Okay, so I want to share with you one of my absolute favorite extensions for doing client mock-up work. It's an extension called Lorem and More. Now you get this at the you get this at the Adobe Exchange website. So just basically go to Adobe.com, Adobe Exchange, and search for Lorem and More. What this does, it's a free extension download that enables you to put Ipsen Lorem into your website. Now it's very sophisticated because it does different things with paragraphs, et cetera, et cetera. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so we're back in Dreamweaver. I want to fill this section here with some content. In fact, branding, I'm not going to fill branding as we're a logo. I'm going to put a graphic and stuff there, so we're just going to leave that the way it is. Now for the main content, I'm going to double click here. I'm going to go to insert, and down here on the bottom here is something called Lorem et More. Where did it go? I think put it there. Oh, there it is. I didn't see it. My mistake. Okay. Now, what this extension does here, you can put Ibsen Lorem, you can put Corporate Mumbo Jumbo. So, in this particular case, I just want to put some dummy placeholder text. Now this is a good technique to get into because you don't you want to put content for proofing purposes. You just want the client okay, the layout, the design, the spacing, the color scheme, etc. You don't want to be you don't want them to sit there and read the copy. We're not at that point yet. So put a language that you don't understand. This is a Latin text. I don't speak Latin. If you speak Latin, then pick Portuguese. If you speak Portuguese, then speak pick uh, pick Greek. And if you speak Greek. Then, uh, then I feel sorry for you. Just kidding. Anyway, so we're going to put in here Ipsen War, and we're going to create five paragraphs. So it's going to put five paragraphs of text just like that. How cool is that? Simple, simple, simple. Okay, so let's fill this paragraph H1 tag, command one. Now, I already have a rule for an H1 tag in our starter page. So I just want to share with you how simple it is to put content in here. Let's do the same thing for our news bar. Let's hit the return key. Let's go back to insert. Let's go down to Ibsen Forum. And let's fill this with uh, let's fill this with Shakespeare. Now I want to keep it simple. Let's just keep, let's fill this with four paragraphs of space and hit the OK button. So I just want to get some content in here. Okay, I'm just doing this to get content. Now, in this particular case, I probably don't want that much content right now. Okay, what's happening to my mouse? Let's select this and delete. News bar, command, keep on. Now, important step here. For search engine purposes, the first header, the first text that appears inside of a bar, with the exception of the navigation bar, should be an H1 tag. That's how search engines work. So it behooves you to basically do that to put the H1 tag in there. Now, if you guys are sick of looking at this grid here, so in this particular case, let's say our design is done, but, 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 but our design is not done. So we're going to delete some of this content here. So we're not done with our design here, so we're going to keep the grid. Okay, make a change. Save a change. Again, that was Ipsen Orem plugin that you can get from the Adobe website. Go to Adobe Exchange here and just type in Lorem and more. Okay, just like I showed you. Okay, now here's what I want to do here. I want to create a totally different div section. Okay, inside that div section, we're going to create some HTML section tags and article tag. I'm going to share with you a mucho grande, and that's the extent of my Spanish, by the way. I'm going to share with you a mucho grande technique of how to work with article tags intelligently. We're going to create three article column sections. You know, this is just going to blow your mind. I guarantee you've never seen a technique like this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to insert a div tag. Now, Unlike our previous div tags, we had something to select. Well, there's nothing to select because we have no content. We just want to put a div tag someplace, right? 
So let's come up here to insert a div tag. And based on these choices, these are my choices, where do I want to put this div tag? Well, we have a couple of choices. We're going to put it before this particular case. We're going to put it before the footer tag. Now we could have set after the news bar tag. Okay. We're going to put it before the footer tag. Okay, and we're going to simply call this site highlights. Site highlights, as in news stories that highlight the site. That type or or information that highlights the site. So we're just going to call this site. I-L-I-T-H-T-S. Can I spell correctly? Apparently I can still spell correctly. And I hit OK. Now, make a change, save a change. If I scroll down here to the bottom, I have something called Site Highlights. Now, if you're wondering why Site Highlights is looking totally out of whack, it's because Site Highlights doesn't have a rule. More specifically, similar to Footer, it needs to clear the floats above it. So let's do that. Okay, so let's select the tag. Let's put this over here, right here. So let's select the tag and make a rule. We're going to affect the tag, select the tag. Okay, simple, simple, simple. So site highlights. Let's see what we have in store for site highlights. Tell them what the Johnny, tell them what they've won. Okay. So based on these choices here, site highlights under category of box needs to clear, similar to how we did the footer, it needs to clear the left foot and the right foot. So I get that happening. Now the site highlights goes on the bottom. Okay, now here's the super cool part. What I want to do here is I want to have a section tag. So if you know anything about how I work, I don't like to reinvent the wheel here. So I'm going to type section. Now what happens sometimes, if you don't have content there, the div tag collapses and it's hard for me to put my cursor there. So I'm just going to type in the word section. Now what do I mean by section? Section is a physical HTML5 tag. It's not a div tag. It's not an ID tag. It's an HTML5 tag. Just like body tag and H1 tag and paragraph tags. These are physically defined HTML5 tags called section. Not sections, section. Okay. Then we're going to have a series of article tags. So I'm going to type in the word article. Okay. So I have article tag. Now, if I want to have more than one article tag, I can do that. So I say article, article, article. So let's actually do that. Okay, article, space, article, copy, paste. Actually, I didn't mean to copy the section tag. I'm just going to copy article. So make sure it's article, space, space, it's article. Now, very important step here. We need to put all the articles inside the section tag. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, what's the name of our tag? The name of our tag is going to be section. I'm going to double click section. I'm going to copy section. Command C, Control C. I select section, copy section. This way I can pay section. Okay, now in order to affect this content, I need to select this content. Okay, now again, this is not a div tag, so we're not going up here to insert div. We're going to insert, wrap this inside of a tag called section. So how do we do this? Well, we could go to our code, and we could drive ourselves insane, or we can simply learn a simple technique, command T. Command T wraps inside of a tag. Command T, Macintosh, Control T, Windows. So how do we do this command? I select what I'm going to affect in it, command T. I'm going to wrap this inside of section. So voila. Okay. So if I save that, you will now see that article is inside of section. Okay. Articles inside of section. 
Now, everything right now is inside of section. Now, what I want to do is I want to wrap article inside of a separate article tag. Article gets wrapped inside of a separate article tag. Okay, now I could do this. I could just double click. Apparently my double clicking uh, skills are not what they used to be. So we're gonna copy that, Command T, paste, return. Okay, double click. Command T, copy, Command T, paste, return. Now, for those of you that are keeping score here, why do I keep copying article? I don't have to keep copying article. I just need to copy article one time, and I can paste, 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 paste. So I just want to share that with you for those of you that didn't catch that. Okay. Once something's copied, I don't have to copy the same thing again. So Command T and paste, turn. Okay. Now. Here's the super cool part. Okay, we're gonna fill this article tag with some paragraphs. So let's just go back to our Ibsen Warum and fill this with, just because we can, let's keep this really simple. Let's fill that with one paragraph. Okay, now I don't wanna be a show off and go back to the Ibsen Warum here. I'm just gonna take the same information here. Let's actually kill article. Well, actually, let's keep article because we article header. So let's actually keep that. All right. So let's hit the return key. Paste. Actually, I don't want to return. Cursor here. Er, er. Boy, I'm just not double clicking like I used to double click. It's strange that it's, that it's not that it's doing what it's doing. Anyway, we'll fix that. Article tag, turn key, paste. Let's look at the code for a second and see what's happening here. So, article tag, paragraph, Ibsen, worm. That's strange. I see it didn't make article a paragraph. It just kept the article as nothing. So, important step here. When I hit the return key here, I see what happened here. When I hit the return key here, in the Ibsen form, it didn't put this inside of a paragraph. So let's physically put this inside, let's put the article inside the paragraph. Here's a simple way to do this. Command T, and type in P for P tag, okay? This way it has the same consistency. Now, that doesn't matter because these are not gonna be article tags. These are gonna be header tags. Article's gonna be header. I don't want to confuse you here. This is just content. This is just text. So I'm going to command key one. Because I just got done saying a couple minutes ago that every first first header of each section of each div tag of each section of each article, with the exception of nav tag, should technically be a header tag, header one tag. So we're just going to make these header one tags by hitting command key one. So command key one makes some header tags. Now, that should have make that a capital A. Okay, so here's what we have going on here. Here's my section. So let's make that a header one tag too. Okay, so let's just call this, let's just call this what it is. Uh, a site highlights. Or, or, you know, it could be something called trending now or trending today if we want to use something that, that a lot of sites use. Okay, site highlights. Okay, now again, for search engine purposes, the beginning of each article, the beginning of each div tag should tactically be an H1 tag. Now the H1 tag doesn't have to be that particular size. So as an example, if we double click our H1 tag, we can see that we set that to 1.6 M spaces. Okay. So let's make an H1 tag when H1 is inside article, let's make it 1.4 M spaces. For those of you don't, don't know this, an M space is equal to the height of the letter M, of a capital M. So my body copy was set to 10 pixels, 1.6 M. For those who slept through fourth math class, 1.6 M space is 16 pixels, so it's a relative space. 
So we're going to make this H1 tag, in this particular case, P1.4 M spaces. So it'll be slightly smaller. It'll be slightly smaller than the original, which is this guy here. So it's, it's still an H1 tag for search engine purposes, okay? So this should technically go in the section tag, which is after the news bar tag, okay? Now, here's my objective. Here's the super, 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 super cool part. I want to make these article tags. Now, notice I didn't get the article tags IDs because I, what I want to accomplish here, I don't have to. Because I want to talk to them all the same way. So here's what I want to do here. I want to create a rule article when article is inside of section. Well, technically, article is inside of section. So how do I create a rule for article and articles inside of section? I simply select the tag, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, I select the tag. Again, see down here, guys, this is the path to those tags. This is the exact path to the tags, whatever you select. So understand something. If I select this, that's a different path than selecting this, which is a different path than selecting this. So in order to affect something, I need to select something. So I'm going to select article tag. Dreamweaver will do the work for me. So I don't need to be this specific. I just want to do this. Now, if this helps.